Hi, parents. Hello, everybody. Let me situate myself here. Welcome to Storytime with Gammon. I am Gammon. I'm also Celia Kibler, and I'm the founder of Pumped Up Parenting, a family empowerment coach. And ever since this coronavirus began, I've been doing story time with Gammon at 7 p.m. every night here on Facebook, Periscope, and on YouTube. And if you're joining me on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get a lot more stories and great parenting tips. All right. So as you're hopping on live with me, let me know who you are. Put in your names, kids. Let your parents put in your names so I can say hello. Hi, Mason. Hi, sweetheart. Thanks for coming on with me. And uh, share this out for your friends. And also, guys, if you're on the, um, if you're re-watching it on the replay, give me a hashtag after party. I'm happy you're on as well. I hope you enjoy the story. Tonight, we are reading Bread and Jam for Francis by Russell Hoban. Pictures are by Lillian Hoban. So they are husband and wife. And they write these books together. And there are a lot of Francis books. And if you've read a Francis book, let me know. I might have spelled Francis wrong in the, uh-oh, now that I think about it. I wonder if I spell Francis wrong. I did spell Francis wrong. Whoops. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Hi, Cindy. Hmm. Just noticed that. Well, anyway, I apologize to the Hobins for spelling Francis incorrectly. But let's get started reading. Are you ready? There's a lot of peanut butter and jam. Or that's just jam. Jam, bread and jam, bread and jam. All right. <clears throat> And if you find these books, these are books that you can read, too, if you're a beginning reader. Hi, Maddie. How are you? And Maddie's on. Okay, here we go. It was breakfast time. Father was eating his egg. I love eggs. Do you love eggs? If you love eggs, put a put an egg in the comment. Mother was eating her egg. Gloria was sitting in a high chair and eating her egg, too. Francis was eating bread and jam. What a lovely egg, said father. It is just the thing to start the day off right, said mother. Frances did not eat her egg. There they all are having breakfast. Do you have breakfast with your family? Eggs, yes. Aunt Maddie loves eggs too. Frances sang a little song to it. She sang the song very softly. I do not like the way you slide. I do not like your soft inside. I do not like you lots of ways. And I could do for many days without eggs. Good song. Francis spread jam on the other slice of bread. There's her egg. She's not eating it. Why do you keep eating bread and jam, asked father, when you have a lovely egg? I like bread and jam, said Francis, because it does not slide off your spoon in a funny way. Well, of course, said father, but there are other kinds of eggs. Yes, said Francis, but sunny side up eggs lie on the plate and look up at you. And sunny side down eggs just lie on their stomachs and wait. Hi, Bobby. Yeah, I do too. I like eggs that are cooked all the way through. How do you guys like your eggs? Do you like them scrambled, fried, sunny side up? How do you, when I was a kid, I used to love sunny side up eggs, but not anymore. I think it is time for you to go to school now, said mother. Frances picked up her books, her lunchbox, and her skipping rope. Then she kissed mother and father goodbye and went to the bus stop. Look at that. We haven't been to the bus stop in a long time, have we? No, nobody's going to the bus stop. The buses aren't running. Maybe one day the buses will run, but right now, no buses. While she waited for the bus, she skipped and sang. Jam on biscuits, jam on toast. Jam is the thing that I like most. Jam is sticky, jam is sweet. Jam is tasty, jam's a treat. Raspberry, strawberry, gooseberry. I'm very fond of jam. I actually do not know if that's the tune, but I made that up. There's the school bus. Remember what those things look like? Think back in your memory banks when you went to school. That evening for dinner, mother cooked breaded veal cutlets 
with string beans and baked potatoes. What you have for dinner tonight? Do you remember? Ah, said father, what is there nicer on the plate and tastier to eat than a breaded field cutlet? It is a nice dish, said mother. Eat up the string bean, Gloria. Frances looked at her plate and sang, what do cutlets wear before they're breaded? Flannel nightgowns, cowboy boots, furry jackets, sailor suits. Frances is a lot like me. She makes up a lot of songs. Love jam. Great tune, catchy. Thank you, Maddie. <laughs> Thank you. I love jam too. I'm Brett, Act actually. Then Frances spread jam on a slice of bread and took a bite. She won't try anything new, said mother to father. Well, said Frances, there are many types of things to eat, and they taste many different ways. But when I have bread and jam, I always know what I'm getting, and I'm always very pleased. Mason, how many no thank you bites are you supposed to take? Do you remember? Three, when we try new foods. Frances doesn't like to try new foods. But it's fun to try new foods because you never know what you're going to like, right? Yeah, she's a lot like me. I, I can relate. I can relate to Francis. You try new things in your school lunches, said mother. Today I gave you a chicken salad sandwich. I traded it to Albert, said Francis. For what, said father? Bread and jam, said Francis. The next morning at breakfast, father sat down and said, now I call that a pretty sight. Fresh orange juice and poached eggs on toast. Francis began to sing a long song, a little song. Poached eggs on toast. Why do you shiver with such a funny little quiver? I, I love Francis. I love this girl. She makes up songs for everything. Then she looked down and saw that she did not have a poached egg. Ah, what did she have? I have no poached eggs, said Francis. I'm nothing but orange juice. I know, said mother. Why is that, said Francis? Even Gloria has a poached egg. Gloria is her little sister. And she is nothing but a baby. You do not like eggs, said mother. Have some bread and jam if you are hungry. So Francis ate bread and jam and went to school. Hmm. Hmm. When the lunch bell rang, Francis sat down next to her friend, Albert. What do you have today, said Francis? I have a cream cheese, cucumber, and tomato sandwich. Yum, said Albert. I actually think that would taste good. And a hard-boiled egg and salt shaker and a thermos of milk and a bunch of grapes and a tangerine and a cup of custard. Wow, nice lunch. What do you have, he said. Frances opened her lunch. Bread and jam, she said. You're lucky, said Albert. That's just what you like. I had bread and jam for dinner last night, said Francis, and for breakfast this morning. I am a very lucky girl, I guess. Would you like to eat bread and jam all the time? Albert took a napkin and tucked it under his chin. He arranged for his lunch neatly. I like cream cheese with cucumber and tomatoes on rye, said Albert. With his spoon, he cracked the egg. He sprinkled salt on the yolk. He took a bite of sandwich, a bite of egg, and a drink of milk. Then he went around again. Albert made the sandwich, the egg, and the milk come out even. Albert sighed. I'd like to have a good lunch, he said. That is a good lunch, Albert. Frances ate her bread and jam. Then she went out to the playground and skipped rope. She did not skip as fast as she had skipped in the morning. And she sang, jam in the morning, jam at noon, bread and jam by the light of the moon. Jam is very nice. When Francis got home, mother said, I have a snack already for you. I do like snacks, said Francis. A glass of milk and some nice bread and jam for you. Aren't you worried that maybe I will get sick and all my teeth will fall out from eating so much bread and jam, asked Francis. I don't think that will happen for quite a while, said mother. So eat it all up and enjoy it. What do you think Frances is thinking about now? Do you think she's getting sick of that bread and jam? What do you think? Frances ate up most of her bread and jam, but she did not eat all of it. After her snack, she went outside to skip rope. Do you guys like to skip rope? 
Hi, Christine. Francis skipped a little more slowly. Then she had skipped at noon and she sang another song. Jam for snacks and jam for meals. I know how a jam jar feels. Full of jam. That evening for dinner, mother cooked spaghetti and meatballs. I am glad to see there is enough for seconds, father said, because spaghetti and meatballs is one of my favorite dishes. Try a little spaghetti, Gloria, said mother. I had spaghetti tonight. I had spaghetti and sausage and mushrooms. It was delicious. And I had red lentil spaghetti. Have you ever had that? It's pretty good and it's red, like Spider-Man. Frances looked down at her plate. There was no spaghetti and meatballs on it. What do you think was on it? You're right. There was a slice of bread and a jar of jam. Frances began to cry. My goodness, said mother. Frances is crying. What is the matter? asked father. Frances sang a little sad song. What I am is tired of jam. I want spaghetti and meatballs, said Frances. May I have some, please? So even though she said she always liked bread and jam, she got sick of it, didn't she? I had no idea you liked spaghetti and meatballs, said Mother. So Mother gave Frances spaghetti and meatballs, and she ate it all up. The next day, when the bell rang for lunch, Albert said, what do you have today? Well, said Frances, setting a tiny vase of violets on her desk, let me see. What do you think's in her lunch? Do you think it's more bread and jam? Let's see. I have tomato soup, Francis said, and a lobster salad sandwich. My, my, my. I have celery, carrot sticks, and black olives, and plums, and cherries, and vanilla pudding. That's a good lunch, said Albert. I think it's nice that there are all different kinds of lunches, and breakfasts, and dinners, and snacks. So do I, said Francis. And she made everything come out even. The end. See, so even though sometimes you think you like the same thing over and over, if you try new things, you may find out you really like them. So parents, if you're on here watching, let me just tell you that a week from Tuesday, that's June 30th, I'm doing a special masterclass on helping picky eaters and feeding your family more healthy food options. I'm a nutritionist and I'm going to be working with all of you on a Zoom call back and forth, one-on-one, -on -one, some serious questions with serious answers. So if you're interested in taking that picky eaters masterclass, if you're in the VIP group, it's free. But if you're not, go over to Pumped Up Parenting and register today. Okay. Yes. I love the book too, Maddie. So it was a great book to learn all about how you should try new foods. So I want you guys to promise tonight, it may be too late for some of you, but if it's not, why don't you try a new food tonight? And if it's too late, try it tomorrow. Take three no thank you bites. That means you taste it once, you taste it again, and you taste it a third time. And by the third time, you just might find out you'll love it. Okay? All right, guys. Let's relax and do a little breathing. I'm going to drink a little water out of my new cool water jug. All right. Let's hold up our finger. Smell the flower. Now blow out the candles. Smell the flower. And blow out the candles. Smell the flower, blow out the candles, and do it again with me. Smell the flower, blow out the candles. Great job, guys. And thank you for joining me for another fun story time. Tuesday and Thursday, Miss Alyssa will be on reading you stories. And Wednesday... Aunt Maddie, who's in the comments, will be on telling a story for you. And I'll be back Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Okay? So you guys have a great evening. Here's to you and your days filled with peace, love, and tons of laughter because it really is the best medicine. I'll see you here tomorrow, maybe, only in the VIP group. 
I'll be on live tomorrow with them, but I'll see you around the web. Have a great night. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to find out more stories, go into Pumped Up Parenting or go to the YouTube Pumped Up Parenting with Celia Kibler. Lots of stories on there, lots of parenting tips. Make it an awesome night. Bye, everybody.